Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugia and, and I am about two kilometers from Randy and I am at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Behind me we can see the temple of Hajar Inn. About two kilometers that side you can find Filfla. And today we're going to visit uh, this uh, amazing site which was a temple dating back uh, about 3600 years BC. So let's start exploring this beautiful site. This is the entrance area, and on the floor, one can see these stone slabs. On the floor, here, one can see these gigantic stones. Uh, and uh, the flat ones to stabilize the building. Uh, on this uh, site, when it was first found, it was nearly covered till the top with soil. So it has to be excavated uh, how it is now. Look, we are the excavation. How it was in 1787. This site has been covered with a uh, with a big tent to prevent it from damage. It's impressive. Eh? 1,600 years ago. You can find more a lot of information here. Looks that there there have been some some carvings of statues. It's impressive, eh? There are monitoring stations everywhere here. Because since it's made from limestone, it can be easily be damaged. Eh? How good this build is there, huh? how square I saw the video, the 3D video inside. It's impressive, eh? I don't know if you can see down there. Uh, the stone is decorated by pitting. This is very nice. Eh? Now we are on the other side of the temple. Very impressive, eh? And the stones. A gigantic. That's why they are called me megaliths. Look at this one. And I will put some stars as well. I think this is uh, four meters something. But I will check. But it's impressive, eh? I will go more in detail from the inside. I'm still going around this area. Look, and that hole there, so that the sun will get exactly into that hole and mark a point in the temple. Eh? Another impressive thing from here. Eh? The stone is the biggest you can find here. It is 5.2 meters by 6.4 meters. Imagine, eh? 20 ton stone. And here we arrive at the starting point. Now that we already went a tour around the, the Hajar in Temple, let's start by uh, analyzing uh, bit by bit. For example, uh, a very fascinating thing. Uh, there, the big megalith has a notch for the other stone, so it will fit better, which is a monumental thing to do with these large stones. Eh? Then, uh, I pointed out before, uh, this is something that uh, it's found in many places. Eh? 
two holes connected to each other and they know they don't know exactly uh, why the paved area is only this part are because there is bare rock all is good inside here well now this temp is started uh, half or uh, smaller than it is now uh, it started with four rooms the rooms are like this which they call an uh, upsidy uh, then uh, there were some modifications by time but let's start exploring uh, one by one this upsidy another thing to point out is look at those holes here and you will find them on the other side as well and I found these edge gun here. most probably these were done so they can block the entrance either by uh, uh, wooden beams or something similar and close this area now well, this is one of the upside look it's amazing this uh, stone block that is like a door around and you can see on the sides there are holes and uh, maybe it was closed either by wood or by some kind of uh, animal skin uh, it's some sculpture they found here and this is the, the original these are the productions these are some fittings they used to do as ornaments and here there is this beautiful uh, design engraved in this area and now this is the upside on the right as soon as you go in from the front of the facade you can see uh, there are these holes that one can tie uh, a string or something to the other side of the door amazed by this stone door here uh, and somebody around subscribed something on them unfortunately but now there's a lot of care about these places unfortunately I cannot go inside and show you what's inside there and now we can go into the other to upside it was this was the main temple and now we're going to go on the right side if we go to the right side there you can see that megalith amazing megalith and they were uh, circular in shape here one can find many interesting features for example that hole up there uh, in summer solstice the sun will go in and hit one of those rocks here until it falls a full circuit and this is the only room that has these low uh, stones like they are a screen for that uh, hole there another thing to consider is the roof here it's made uh, one inner the other so it starts forming a roof and i will show you more here a look as it shows in this photo here here on the left absolutely because we came uh, all the way from here uh, they are the first two and the second two here was a very small absolutely which is a room actually then in due time it was enlarged in uh, many other rooms that uh, uh, made this complex double the size nearly one well, here can see some altars over here and also that stairs there during the restoration uh, they found four statues under these stairs which were later uh, restored another interesting thing many of the statues one will find here are without head and you can find like a hole in them and people can swap their heads out like to follow megalith hind there is based in malta and has a lot a lot of history about this site eh? so and i uh, see it a lot so i will put a link for her channel and give it a look if you like this stuff oh here yeah, we can exit uh, another thing uh, look this house that i told you before And they are carved extremely well. Eh? We're going to go outside from here. As soon as you get out from the temple on the other side, let's say it's the back side, you will find around two holes 
in the floor again. Any idea what were these used for? Hope you are fascinated about this site as much as I am. Then, for example, you can find these numbers. Oh, look how good this is. You download the app. You put 21, okay? As you move around the external wall, you're confronted by Hajar Im's tallest surviving megalith. Oh, At four and a half meters high, this will have dwarfed its Neolithic builders and clearly brings home the architectural difficulties that were overcome by the nice, prehistoric eh? temple builders. Look how beautiful it is from here. Eh? With this enormous stone. Imagine eh? hauling a 20 ton stone. Eh? It's 5 meters in height by 6.4 meters width. Eh? And there we can find more holes here. And there are big holes here. Like when you want to tie animals or something. Eh? And here we have reached the facade again. Look how nice this view it is. Hope you enjoyed this vlog from Hajar Im. It's an impressive sight. Uh, hope you learned something with me because I'm no expert in this stuff, but it's fascinating the history we have. Look, I did a similar temple in Gigantia, which is older than this one. Uh, until next time, bye bye, and please subscribe to my channel.